over this not too loud. Sorry, <laughs> Good, Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Green Valley Parkinson Support Group Exercise Class. And for those of you joining us online, welcome. If it's your first time joining us online, you'll need a chair without arms, a pair of light hand weights, a tennis ball, a larger ball, and some water. Our classes are approximately 45 minutes long. We start in a seated position and we stand later, work on balance and stretching. We have a little bit of cardio and then we come back into the chair and we have cool down. So if you have those things, make sure that you have room to use them about arm's distance away. Pat, you look so lonely over there by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Lori, I invite you to have a seat in your chair toward the front. Making sure that you have room behind you so that you can lean back and you're not using the back of the chair for support. Y'all are very close together. I know that you're married, but okay. <laughs> Sit tall. We're gonna take a deep breath through the nose and out through the mouth. Again. and out. Good posture. Drop the chin to the chest. Raise your head. Relaxing your jaw. Allow your mouth to open. Bring it back to this neutral position and tilt the head to the side. Again, look down and circle. And the other way. Dropping the chin to the chest, raising it again, and center, and side to side. Yeah, get that flexibility. You'll be driving later. And then drop the chin, and look halfway. And drop the chin, and look the other way. The shoulders. You're going to be in trouble. Move your fingers. Yes. Stretch them out. Scratch something. Yeah. And make a very tight fist. And then a soft hand as you circle the wrist. Two, three, four. We count. Five, Reverse it. Five, five four, four, three, two, two one. one. Some big circles. I think I'll turn that down for yeah. you, Ginger. Yeah, it definitely. Yeah. And the arms now reaching overhead, reaching for the ceiling. One, One and, and two, two and, and three. Reach and up as high as you can. And One more. Five, and the and arms now to the side with a flexed hand. Bring it in and One, out. Two, three, four. Five. Five. They come down, resting one on the chair with a bent to elbow for a stretch to the side. Same thing on this side. Yeah. And then cross them. As you sit tall in the chair, twisting, working your spine, look what's behind you or who? Behind you and to the other side. You face front again, placing the hands on the chair. The weight is shifted to one hip. As the other is up and, and two, two and, and good three and, and four and, and one more five and ginger take it into a march it's warm up and it's a little chilly outside so we want to warm up position, the arms are dropped in, we're sitting tall, as you extend one, it's a flexed foot, and now the other one, two, and, and good, three, and four, and, and one more, five, and heels up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, good, and my feet, they're just a little close to the chair, so I'm going to pull them out, the toes up, down, tap them. Your feet to 
together, your arms crossed over your chest, and it's heels out and then toes out. So it's out, in, out, Two. in. Three. Okay. Four. Four. I'll go with it. Five. Five. <laughs> Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. nine. Ten. ten. And uncross, and we're back to this position. If you have room to lean back and not touch, you're in the right place. Please grab those weights as I quickly turn this down a notch. Are yours cold? We're going to start with a bicep curl. So think of your posture as you wrap the fingers around those weights. It's a soft but firm grip, and the elbows are tucked. And raise it to the shoulder. One, two, two good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They come to rest briefly as you stretch and maybe take a deeper breath. And again, sit tall and look forward. Raise it up. One, two, three, four, yes, five, six, count with us. Seven, eight, nine. Ten. These, they drop to the side, the outside of the chair legs, rotating your arms and shoulders forward, and then pull them back, pitching shoulder blades together. Good. Again, here, lift one, tuck the elbow, looking forward, it's right over there to the side. Nice, Bill, you got it. And then come up, stretching, nice. Eliminate one, placing that one on the floor out of our way. Wrap both fingers, both hands, all ten fingers around this. Drop it to the back. The chin lifted and the arms extend one, up. Watch ours. Two, three, three, be careful. Four, five, six, good. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We take a break. They're never long enough, though, are they? No. Again, sitting tall, they're overhead. Relax the shoulders. Drop it to the back, and it's one, up. two, three. Using your four, outdoor voice. Five, five. Thank you. Six, six seven, seven, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. And placed on the floor along with the other one, we're going to bring our feet and our knees together. Arms crossed. The legs are out and the feet are off the floor. And it's flex and point. Two, Pulling them back. Three, three four, five, five. Keep going. Six, six seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Keep them up. And it's out One, and in. Two, two three, four. Five. Reverse it out with the heels. One, two, three, four, five. five. And they come down. Separate the feet, uncross the arms, but place the fingers together. Lift it up and lift it up. And circle one, one two, two, three, four, four five. five. Change direction. Five, four, three, two, one. one. Place it down. The weight shifts and it's a circle. One, two, three, four, four five. five. The other five, way. Five, four, three, two, one. And there. And I'm going to scoot forward. Taking a little more of that leg off of the seat as you extend this leg. Tall, shoulders over hips and the hands, well, they're on the side by the knee. Sliding down with a flat back. Reaching forward. Oh, does that not feel good? Just drop into that stretch. Come up, good. And then bring the other one forward. Same thing. Reaching from the hip, dropping down. Good. And come up. First leg again. The arms are out. The palms of your hands, it's called an open hand, and the fingers are apart. Twisting, because the opposite hand will reach for that extended foot. The other one, well, it's reaching for the ceiling. Come up. Nice. Very. And then there. And reach. <laughs> you get extra. <laughs> and then you bring the other one out. As you twist at the waist, reach forward, opposite hand to foot. 
You're consistent. All right, and there. No big deal. Perfect. And come down with those arms back into a starting position. We need both weights. We're gonna work shoulders next. And they're serving trays. That's the name of this exercise. And the arms are dropped to the side here. And we're sitting tall, looking forward. The arms extend toward the front as if you're holding a tray of turkey soup, so you better be careful. <laughs> Not too high. It'll, Three. <laughs> it'll fall on you. Four. Four. Beautiful. One more. Five. Five. And we'll take a break. Yeah, stretch it out again. Turkey soup. <laughs> okay, sitting tall. And one. Right there. Good job. Two. Two. <laughs> Three. Three. Four. Four. One more. Five. Five. Excellent. No one hit the chair legs or anything. Watch your shoelaces. They're very long, like mine are usually. And we're going to put those on the floor. <clears throat> Forward in the chair, always, taking a little bit more of that leg off the seat as you extend both. And be mindful of how you sit in the chair. So lengthen the spine. The arms are out. The hands are together. Reaching forward first, drop down one, one. and up. Two. Two. Yes. Three. Three. Good. Four. Four. And one more. Five. Five. Placing the other leg on top. And the arms now, unless it bothers your shoulder, they're overhead. Reaching out of the ribcage. Reaching up and over. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four, and this is it. Five. Five, and there. So we're going to take it wide now, opening up at the hip. Within your range of flexibility. I always said you, that's amazing. Knees over feet. The arms are out, supporting one by placing it on the inside here, and this overhead. As you twist at the waist, Reach for the ceiling. Reach up with an open hand, and the other one is sliding down the inside of that calf toward the floor. Clock arms, 12 and 6, become 3 and 9. And then this side, as you twist, reach. Stretch it out. Nice. And then they come back, and they drop down. Pivot on the heel, and then the ball on the foot. We close everything in, and sit tall. Crossing the arms at the flat back, looking down at the floor, the knees open. The weight is on the outside of the ankles. Yes, and come up. Okay, Barbara, and again, there. All right, and separate the feet. Um, the tennis <coughs> ball, and if you're joining us at home and didn't think you could use a tennis ball, we do, so have one next time. Um, we're gonna work right now with opposite, opposition, reciprocal movement. So um, we're gonna pretend, Bill, pretend to throw. I'm right-handed, so throwing forward, right hand, left knee would go one. Transfer it again to this one. Two. Two. We're gonna throw to the side, so I'm gonna throw with my right hand. Three. Right arm and left leg comes out. And up to the four. side, four. An open stance, five, five and close. Six. There. Much faster, are you ready? Okay, go. One, One two, two, three. three. Other side, four, four. open, five, five, close it, six. six. All right, one more time, ready? Go. One, One two, two, three, four, four. open, five, five, close it, six. six. Great job. All right, back to a starting <coughs> position. Take the ball, and we're gonna place it right in there. Um, Tour de Tucson is Saturday. Yeah, that's a big event here in Pima County. So we're gonna do a little bit of our own bike riding, Steve. So um, your hands are dropped to the outside here. The weight shifts from center to one hip. As so this is free to lift, pedaling forward, one. one. Two, two, working ankles, three, knees, and hips. Four, five, five, good, six, six seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. ten. Oh, you forgot something? 
Go back. One, Ten, two, nine, three, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Place it down. Take a deep breath. In case you weren't breathing. <laughs> Shift to the other side and pedal forward. One, two, three, yes, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Backwards. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And there. Take a deep breath. Yeah, you're warming up, Barb? I am. Good, I'm glad. That was my intent. So we take this and we turn slightly. With our feet still wide, but we have the front chair leg in between them. The inside hand close to the back holds the frame of your chair. The outside arm reaches forward. The outside leg extends to the back. Grab the imaginary rope, pull it in, Arm and leg tucking the chin to the chest. There's three ropes out there, so reach. Good job. Grab it. Curl up. One more. Reach for it and curl. Working your spine. And then we go to the other side. Again, start with your feet. Hold on with the inside hand. Reach forward. Stretch it out. Grab it and curl. Working your spine, that's what this one's about. Curl up, and we've done another one, and then curl. Beautiful. And we're gonna face front again. With our feet about as wide as our shoulders and hips, our hands placed on the chair, using your upper body strength, we're gonna lift our panty off the seat. So it's a little nose over toes, and it's one, up, down, two, two. Three. Get excited. You like four, it. Four. Five. Six. six yes. Seven, seven. Eight. Nine. nine ten. ten. Woo. Catch your breath. <clears throat> Have some water if you need it. Yeah, always. And the arms, they're out from the shoulder. There's some more toe touches in the air. It's one. one and, and two. And, and good. Three. And. and Four, yes, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine. Now keep the arms extended. Yeah, and the shoulders relaxed, and the hands dropped. Flex them, pull them back with that open Three, hand, fingers apart. Four, One more. Five. Open and close. One, two, three, four. Five, Five six, six, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. ten. Scratch something. Does that feel good? <laughs> Make a soft fist and circle. Two, three, four, four five, five. The other way. Five, four, three, two, one. It's amazing how heavy they are. We're not even holding anything. <laughs> the shoulders relax, the fingers extend and it's a soft hand, the palms facing up, facing down, and up. One up, one down, just a little bit. Yeah, good, they're both up. And the elbows are tucked close to the rib cage. The arms create a little shelf, pull them back. Good, and then relax. One, just there. Underneath with the other hand, pull it down. Stretch. Yeah, and up, pull it back. And then the other one. Yeah. Pulling down, stretching. And there. One more. And it's my favorite. So it's there. <laughs> the chin level with the floor, eyes looking forward. Just gently pull that to the side. Yeah, and then to the other side. Right there. All right. Um, we need the weights again. Hope you didn't get rid of them. All right. Making sure that you can always lean back a bit and you've got that space. You're not using the chair to support you. Placing these here with an open hand, a straight leg. 
eyes off the floor. Lift it up for ten. It's one, one two, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, eight job. nine, Flex ten, the foot. Up. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it back and shift to the other side. This leg is extended and it's up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flex the foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent job. And we're done with these. I had some things that I wanted to do and we got to get to them. So I hope you didn't put that too far away. Grab that tennis ball again. We use it for a couple of things, Willie. We use it to warm up our hands and our feet. Balance begins at the bottom of your feet. So if you have shoes that come off quickly and you'd like to take them off, shoes or socks, bare feet, doesn't matter, it's kind of cold. But So practice posture right now. Sit tall and just roll that between your hands. And then stretch the fingers, taking this and working it in between, yeah. And then the other hand. With good posture, make a nice soft fist where the ball will rest and the arm extends. Keep your eye on the ball. Bring it close to you. One more. Good. And then transfer it carefully to the other hand and bring it in. Excellent. And there. They're both out. Placing it in one. That's all right. Yeah, good. And then on the floor, underneath that bare foot or one with a shoe, Push down on it, stimulating the bottom of your feet. Wake up your feet. Yeah. And now the other. Push down. These shoes are like wearing nothing. Yes, there. All right. Take the ball. We're in class and these chairs, they're perfect. Just squeeze them between the seat and the back and we're just gonna come into that chair with our feet still wide, but we get to use the back, yeah. Hands on your hips, the shoulders, shoulder blades touching the back, arch your back, create that space, and then close it up. Again, there, and then <coughs> press. Focusing forward, eye level or just above, extend and lift, and again, One. circle. Two, three, four. Four. Reverse five, it. Five, four, three, two, one. one. And the feet hit the floor. They get pulled back and away from the back of the chair, shifting your weight side to side. And the opposite hip is lifted as you kind of walk and rock yourself forwards. The arms are out. The shoulders relax, and it's that soft hand facing the ceiling. Working to strengthen our core, lean back and hold. And come up, taking it to the side. Lean back and hold. Beautiful. And up, arms framing your head, maybe overhead, lean back. Perfect job. And then here. Good. And the last one, cross them and hold for 10. Nine, eight, eight, seven, six, six five, four, three, two, two one. one. Sitting tall again, placing the hands here. And it's a flat back, so not here, but here. Looking down at the floor, nose over toes. Lift a heel, then the other. Drop the first, drop the second. Up, up, up down, down, down. Up, up, up down, down. down. Up, up, two more times. Up, up, down, down. Last one. Just heels. Three times, up, down. 
And that should give our ankles a clue. All right, so we're gonna do nose over toes. Positioning yourself forward, the ball of the foot gets most of the weight. Yeah, nice. And then the weight is in the heel as you bend your knees back into the chair, back to shoulders over hips. And again, it's up and there. And good. Two more. Beautiful job, everyone. <laughs> Last one, thank you, Mary. And there. Shoulders over hips. <coughs> so come back here. Excuse me, fingers apart. And they're here. And the elbows are stretched to the side. Warming up for the real deal. It's a seated crunch. Twist, lift the knee to the opposite one. elbow and Three. up. Two. Two. And. and Three. Three. And, and four, four and, and one more. Five. five. And Great job. Take a deep breath. Shake it out. We need that larger ball. Oh my, that cap is off. Because right. I need blowing up. <laughs> of my water bottle. Oh. <laughs> so it's cold. Uh. <laughs> it's colder in southern Arizona. So we're going to work some shoulders because pretty soon we'll be wearing jackets and sweaters. So sit tall, place this here, held with just one hand, and the other one just drop to the side. You're going to roll it, try not to lean forward, but roll it as far to the back as you can. The free hand reaches behind you, finds the ball, brings it around to the front. So what we're doing is working on shoulder rotation. So let's try the other side. Remember I promised you months ago when I was triple digits, we'd be getting cold sometime soon. Very nice. Holding the ball here, placing it on your chest, dropping the elbows, and now extending the arms. The focus is on the rim of the ball. Transfer your weight over your thighs and knees. Keep going over the floor, reaching as far as you can. Good. And then come up, extending the arms overhead. Lean back slightly, keep the feet on the floor for good balance. And beautiful. Once again, we are here. Tracking the ball, twisting that torso, the back arm fully. And center, good. And now to the other side. There. Placing the ball on the inner thigh. Placing the hands on the top and the feet now rare, but they're together. We don't sit like that very well. And we're going to squeeze, and Mary's going to count. One, two, two, squeeze hard. Three, four, five, six. Bring your feet together. Seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, nine, ten eleven, twelve. twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and relax. And the ball placed anywhere just out of your way. I'm going to put mine on the floor. And you need to stand. So we've got to keep that area around the chair free of things as you do nose over toes again and come up. We'll be to the back of the chair, arm's distance from it. <coughs> With the feet right underneath you, and then looking forward, heels up and down. Up and down, good. Three, four, one more, five. five. Reverse it, heel gets the weight, toes Two, up. Three, yes. four, four five. five, and shake it out. We'll take it wider. The toes no longer facing forward, but out to the side, and it's up down with those heels again. Three, four, good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the hands are on the back of the chair. Bend the knees just a little bit, a little. And then take all of that weight to one leg, straight leg. Bent knee, and the knee should be pretty much over that foot, but you are looking forward. 
and then we bring it back and we slide it to the other side. Good, and here. Then we straighten up, shake them out. We're gonna do leg lifts. So if you wanna make sure that you're not too close to someone or something, and we have room. We're here. The weight shifts from the center to one leg, and it's a soft knee as this is extended. Looking forward, lift it up. One, one two, two, I don't hear it. Three, three four, four, yes, five, five six, six, seven, eight, nine. nine. Bend ten. the standing knee and stretch it out. Heel to the floor. Good. Come up. Bring it forward, transfer the weight. Eyes off the floor as you lift One, up. Two, two good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Bend and stretch. And come up. We're not going to do the lateral one, but we will be doing the forward one. So we'll be standing to the side of the chair. The body is in line with the frame. The weight on the inside leg, and the hand is here. Looking forward, outside leg extends, it feels the floor, and it's up, two, two good, three, three four, five, five, six, six seven, eight, eight. Where are you looking? Nine, out in front. Ten, Bend the knee, and one, it's up, two, two three, four, five. five. And it comes right back. Great job. To the other side. <clears throat> there. Don't lock your knees, but have the legs straight. The weight is on that inside leg. Slide this forward. Let it feel the floor. And lift it up. One, two, two three, four, five. five. Good. Six. six. Shout it out. Seven, eight, eight nine, ten. ten. Bend the knee, and it's One, up. Two, up. three. Four, five, and six. Five, okay. <laughs> you get extra credit. Back to that very first side, we're going to do some balance, and it doesn't require anything but the chair. So again, we're here. And the weight will be on the inside leg. The hand perhaps on the chair. Try not to look at the floor, but Bob, take a split step forward. Yeah. If you feel safe, drop your arms. If you don't, keep that hand on the chair. The eyes off the floor. Turn very slowly. Turn your head toward the chair. Don't look at the floor, but look at the horizon. Nice. Bring the focus back to center. Turn toward the other shoulder. Good. And center. The hand on the chair. As you shift your weight more to the back, and this foot's still there, but the heel is the only thing on the floor. Don't lock your knee, keep the hand on the chair, and again, turn. And to the other side, good. Put it back on the floor and extend both arms forward. If you feel safe doing it, slowly open and always focusing forward on this one. So the arms are moving, but the focus is straight out. Good job. And there. If you feel you can, put that weight back just on the heel. And if you want, extend just one arm and open. Focus forward. Good. And if you use both, it's there. Good job. And they come down. And we bring this back and we go to the other side. Takes a lot of concentration. Yeah, so we're here. The weight is on the inside leg. The hand on the chair. Take a split step. Get your balance. It should be right in the middle. The arms are dropped. Maybe the inside hand is on the chair. I'm just going to hold it there. Turn. Good. If you catch yourself looking down, Look out instead. And there. Rock back so it's just the heel. Maybe the hand is here. Maybe 
your bows out and then open. Nice, Steve. And there. One more time. Open. And there. And drop it down. And again, placement. Right here in the middle. That is very serious stuff, okay? We can't end on that. We have to do a little cardio. And obviously, we're not in there. Um, we're in our smaller room. And um, make sure that if you look over your chair, you be able to walk around or someone else could walk around. We need to make sure that the things we bring to, to class or use are underneath or on the seat. We're gonna do a little cardio. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh -huh. Was that a cough or a sneeze? Hmm? Was it a cough or a sneeze? Uh, it was a combination. <laughs> combination is the only way I can like, describe it. Is that okay? Overhead, your feet flat on the floor for balance. 
reach forward, we've got a flat back, drop the weight and extend them up. Overhead. All the way up, good. Three. Yes. Four. Up. Five. Up. Six. Up. Seven. Up. Reach. Eight. Two more. Nine. Up. Up. Ten. Up. Just when we warm up, it's time to go. <laughs> We've got something in the cardio, and then we go to warm up. So. Our cool down is almost identical. <coughs>